Peace to the gods, peace to the earth. To your man, King Lou is our lie. King Truth is our lie. Still trying to break that fear of, or try to break that conditioning and fear of, fear of the unknown. You know, when I legally and officially changed my name, but uh, peace to the planet and everything on it. All the elements that, you know, we build from peace. Uh, hopefully this will be a quick build. Um, uh, I'm gonna talk about the The name of this gonna be the denouncement, right? And uh, and I'm gonna talk about Malcolm the Father and the Hanifa Muslim movement and this and its leader Khalees, right? Um. You know, like I said in the previous videos that, you know, what religion you can't leave, right? And if the ministers and leaders of that religion, of that so-called said religion, that's how they talk in the nation of Islam. If the leaders of that said so-called religion can't defend their can't defend them, them themselves and their actions against allegations, accusations, and rebuke. Then that's not a religion. You know, that's like a mob. You know that you can't speak on when when there is a disagreement, right? So, um. You know, this serious business, right? What I'm talking about is, you know, is real unless these, you know, unless this, here, unless this history was made up and these stories was planted, right? For whatever reason. But what I'm talking about is, you know, it's real. And, you, you know, I, I, you know, I believe that now, you know, I come to, but now, presently, I believe different than my uncle. You know, I believe my uncle Mel. I believe that uh, white people and black people can't share a religion, right? So, so I come to learn orthodox, Islam uh, embraces all ethnic group. I don't have a problem with it. Now, I don't have a problem with what no one practices. Don't have a problem with black Muslims. You know, and with you know, with the whole. You know, I don't have a problem. You know, the problem comes in is when people, when all these ethnic groups and all these different religions don't respect other people's beliefs. That's when the problem comes in, right? And so, so what religion you can't leave or speak out against? That's not a religion. That's like a gang, a mob, you know. I come to understand why I heard back in the day they referred to the Nation of Islam as a gutter ghetto religion. You know, their, you know, their ways and actions, behaviors are not of, not, not of religious people, religious, spiritual, civilized people. Um, you know, like I just learned Malcolm wrote a denouncement letter, right? 1964 he you know they you know they give credit to him 
why they want to kill Malcolm is because he, he said he began to tell of Elijah Muhammad's indiscretions that you know you know he didn't want out there if Elijah Muhammad Fekka Khan has referred to him as the messenger of God as a spiritual man as the apostle of God um, the lamb of God not bound by western law you know Fekka Khan said Elijah Muhammad should have been judged by a higher standard. You know, he say, you know, he was hinting to the fact that, uh, hinting to the fact, hinting to the fact that, um, judged by higher standards, hinting to the fact that, uh, He was greater than everybody. Western law, right? That's, you know, you know, he, you know, so they were saying, you know, you know, um, he was above statutory rape. You know, he was above fornication and, and, and adultery. You know, he was bound by a different set of rules according to fake account because he was a messenger of far which they believe was God in person right and so Malcolm well people that claim they in the know or the nation of Islam and around and anti-Malcolm say the reason Malcolm got killed because he began to disrespect Elijah Muhammad and that got him killed that's no reason to kill a man especially religious especially religious people. So I'm going somewhere. So now we're going to get to the father. And one, and so it's an article that, the, that, uh, that a God put up. I think it's 5% nation Facebook, I think. Or the, or the, or the, the 5% Facebook page. And I, you know, I screen grabbed it, but I don't, I can't share it right now, but it's, it's an article that said that praise Father Allah, that's the founder of the nation, God's the earth, that praise Father Allah for his work with the youth, right? And in it, he has, a, it, in a, he's, he's, he's in a picture with Elijah Muhammad. And they're standing together in the article praises Father Allah for starting Allah's five percent nation. Uh what 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 year is that? It could have been anywhere from nineteen sixty-four to nineteen sixty-six, I'm gonna say. Between those two years. Because Father Allah or Father Allah left the nation in nineteen sixty-four before Malcolm. You know, it's a rumor out there say Malcolm asked him to leave. I don't know if that's true or not. But and then Malcolm followed him out the nation. That's the rumor, right? Because you know, because they, they was teaching in Harlem Seven, but if Malcolm was suspended, so you know you got to do your research and find the dates because Malcolm got suspended in November through February. Then he left in March. And so I don't know what. And so if it was before November, that father got sus suspended indefinitely himself, then it may be true that Malcolm asked him to leave for teaching the lessons. Run not, not you know this is a rumor. I don't know. I'm not mad at both men because soon after that Malcolm was gone himself. So, but back to Father Allah. So it's a it's a nice news piece. I don't know if they put it in Muhammad Speaks or whatever, the regular paper. That uh, Elijah Muhammad praises Allah the Father, the Father Allah for his work with the youth 
in, in his organization, which was called Allies 5% Nation. Right, that, that was the name of the nation of gods and earths in the, when it first formed, when it first incorporated. It was called Allies 5% Nation, right? And so it was all good. 1967, Father Allah changed the name to uh, Father Allah changed the name to in 1967, the Nation of Gods and Earths in 1967. 1969, he was gunned down in June 1969. You know, he was shot seven times in an elevator uh, in the, what is it? The Martin Luther King Projects somewhere in New York. I don't know, that's Harlem, I think, right? And so we like, wow. So, you know, some people say he had some street beefs. He would intervene and then you know, people to shoot at him. Um, but the story, but the but the news say two two assailants done it and they ran off on foot, right? You know, he had just finished teaching all day at his school, our school in Mecca, the Harlem building, the Harlem school. You know, they say he taught all day, right? And so it was like three, four, five o'clock in the morning, he going home and he got shot seven times and he died in the elevator, right? That's the story. I don't know, man, but seeing how they heckled Malcolm with get your hand out my pocket which we could believe is Nation of Islam members, Fruit of Islam members. Get your hand out my pocket. So when Father Allah changed the name to the Nation of Gods and Earths, maybe they saw that as competition with the Nation of Islam. And, you know, they was in disagreement. And, and, and so then they found out how he was teaching how he was teaching or he was enlightening on the 120, right? He was teaching how we come to learn I self Lord and Master is Islam and Allah is arm, leg, leg, arm, head. That's how he was teaching. The nation of Islam is in strong disagreement with that way of teaching as the black man is the true and living God, right? You know, they believe in praying five times a day, which is fine. That's, you know, this, anybody, any nation of God's or earth representative disagree with that, they going against Supreme Mathematics number four, which is culture freedom, right? One's, one's to practice one's own belief, to live one's own way, which is culture without conflict. Without conflict is freedom. It's culture freedom. So if the nation is not want to pray five times a day and believe what they believe, then they then they more than welcome to do that under Supreme Mathematics number four, culture freedom. The power the problem comes in is when they don't respect how how or what the nation of God's earth believe. That's the problem. So, you know, they saying, uh, they saying, so no one, I don't know if people put this together or not, right? You got some elders over there that's guarding this information. And it's like, you know, they all right for guarding because they don't want people to think they jumping into some kind of beef, some kind of war, some kind of long-standing war. You know, they want you to get Father Allah wanted to get not wanted you to get knowledge of yourself, the proper knowledge of yourself, and the elders want you to get the proper knowledge of yourself. Right? 
whereas, you know, the black man and woman is God. You know, to procreate another life, you need man and woman. Man, today's living black man, ain't taking it from himself and miraculously making another self. You know, you need a, a woman for that. A goddess. A god. So, you know, man. So, you know, 1967, father changed the name to Nation of Gods and Earths. Two years later, he was gunned down. Right? And that's a year after Martin Luther King got gunned down in 68. So, it's like, man, it's, it's deep. And then the father birthday, February 22nd. And they killed Malcolm February 21st. See what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, and so if we go put this on Nation of Islam, they're going to blame the FBI. You know, you know, you know, they're going to blame the CIA. They're going to blame the NYPD. See what I'm saying? So. Yeah. So. And so I don't know. if they And so him teaching enlightenment, him teaching the youth and everybody that we the true and living God, you know, we the kings of the universe, you know, we are the true and living masters of ourselves, of the world, uh, black men and black women. You know, it, 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 it seemed like somebody must have had a problem with that. Now, you know, the streets say Nation of Islam did it. You know, I don't know, right? They arrested somebody, but they let him go. You know what I'm saying? And the father had a funeral. They drove him. They rode his body through Harlem. You know, the streets of Harlem, like they did Malcolm, right? So then you got, I just discovered 1973, the Hanifi Muslim Washington, D.C. murders. Look that up, right? 1973, I just read in this book, Black Brothers Incorporated, about the Philadelphia Temple Number 12 and the Philly so called Black Mafia, right? Said 1973, 1973 is the, and this was the Muslim organization that Kareem Abdul Jabbar was a part of. You know, he bought, bought the house in Washington, D.C. for the Hanif, Hanafi, H A N A F A. Hanifa, H A N A F A. Hanifa Muslim movement, movement by this man last name. Khalees was the leader of that, right? 1973. 1973, he wrote a, wrote, they say, the book say, by this police officer, the book say, Black Brothers Incorporated. He wrote 57 letters or 53 letters to each Nation of Islam temple denouncing the Nation of Islam and Elijah Muhammad, right? And, and so that may have been 72, may have been 73. They say three dudes from Philadelphia, that's temple number 12. But, you know, they, it's, the men were not were not found to be connected to temple number 12, Philadelphia, National Islam Temple. The three killers was found not to be connected with the Nation of Islam. But three men from Philadelphia come down and kill think, three to seven members of his family. They killed his children and his grandchildren. You know, they, I don't want to, you know, they say they put the baby, they drowned the babies in the sink, in the bathtub. You know, the story is him and his 
him and his, he had left that day to go visit. His wife went to the store. She forgot her money. Her, her family, somebody, part of the movement went back to get the money. They put him in the house, killed him, shot his daughter in the head. Three times, two times, she lived because the, cause they say the gunpowder and the gun was old and the bullet just stuck in her. But, you know, she got, you know, she went blind in one eye and she testified, right? But they, but they later pulled her, pulled her off the, off the bench, off the, off the witness bench. I think they were still getting threats. And then, so the wife walked back home and then, oh no, she walked to get the husband because they wasn't that far and they drove home and they seen something fishy and the door was locked and they banged on the door and somebody tried to pull him in the house and he told her to run and she ran next door, called the police. He gave chase and so they ran out the back. He gave chase. They started shooting at him. He turned around, come back to find his family dead, part of his family dead, right? And you know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar bought the house because he was a part of the Hanafi movement, the Hanafi Muslim movement. Hanifa, Hanifa, Hanafi, right? And now, you know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar changed his name. You know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was, is a, was a NBA player, played with Magic. He was Magic Center. You know, he wanted the top Sinners of all time. And his and his birth name, his government name was Luel Cinder. Luel Cinder. So he changed his name from Luel Cinder to Kareem Abdul Jabbar after joining the Hanifi movement, right? And so so I don't know, all the police got involved and, and the FBI, he told the FBI, he you know, the Nation of Islam done this, because I denounced him. Right, and um, and so, so four years later, and, and you know, y'all can Google this. Four years later, him and his homeboys raid like three Washington D.C. buildings. They took over 150 hostages, and if y'all remember, Marion. Washington D.C. Mayor Marion Barry, infamous for being on tape smoking crack, was a city councilman, and they and they shot towards Marion Barry, and he got hit with some, uh, I think, some shotgun pellets, I think. And and a year later, he became the mayor of Washington D.C. Now this, 1977. And, uh, and 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 so you know he took a high, and so for so for thirty nine hours you know he had the man he wanted he was mad at the Jewish media the the Jewish TV for not setting the atmosphere setting the, setting the narrative to get the nation of Islam killed for killing his family he believed right and so he blamed the jewish media and for not covering the story for not highlighting the story for not caring right and uh and and p part of his demands were he wanted to, to for the police to bring the, the the three dudes that killed his family to him and in one article he said, bring the dude that killed Malcolm X too. You know, I you know, I, I think he was calling William Bradley to the scene, also known as Al Mustafa. Al Mustafa Shabazz or Al Mustafa Aziz Shabazz, right? That's the that's the double barrel gazement. You know, he said, bring him down here too for, for killing Malcolm X. You know, he wanted blood, you know. He wanted blood, he couldn't let that rest, you know. And so they locked him up. You know, he 
but somebody come talk to him. And uh, I think in 2003, 2009, I think he died in jail. But you know, uh, I, I think one, one, one black reporter got shot and died, they say, you know. They say, but you know. Yeah, man, so. You know, man, them, you know, them dudes over there in Nation of Islam, man, they ain't right. You see what I'm saying? They ain't right. They ain't right at all. I mean, now, you know, I'm not saying they see, you know, Temple Number 12D. You know, if you pay attention to my other video, I talk about Temple Number 12 and Jeremiah, Jeremiah X, you know, Jeremiah was taught by Malcolm. You know, Malcolm got murdered, got, you know, got assassinated in 65. Um, and so, you know, Jeremiah stayed alive a long time after that. And he kept, and so, you know, the so the book Black Brothers Incorporated says how the Street Brothers, the Black Brothers Incorporated, Use the temple number 12 as a veil as cover for them to be gangsters in the street. See what I'm saying? And so, but Jeremiah was the head of that, but he always, you know, I, I guess he managed it right where he kept his hands clean and did not. You know, he got questioned and, and, you know, he got investigated and surveilled and, 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 and you know, um, and, and, you know, they couldn't find no wrongdoing on Jeremiah Shabazz's part, see what I'm saying, when they did the major investigation, but, and so that's why he believed when they found out he from Philly, that the Nation of Islam was, that, that the three killers was from Philly, that the, that the Nation of Islam had to do something with that because they was, because the Street Brothers, Black Brothers Incorporated, or Black Incorporated, which the police named them uh, Black Mafia Family, was uh, using the Nation of Islam as like the head and cover for what the Black Brothers Incorporated was doing. And then it got to a point where you had to, you know, join the nation to get down with Black Brothers Incorporated. But, you know, they would keep all the street business separate from the temple business, you see? So, you know, that's how they was doing it, man. And so that dude, Khalees, Believe with all his heart that the Nation of Islam has something to do with his family getting killed, because he, de you know, he denounced them. You know, the story goes, you know, he sent 57, 50 uh, uh, to all the temples they had, denouncing Elijah Muhammad Nation of Islam. Right now, why he do that? I don't know, man. You know, Faker Khan. I come to learn and find after representing and studying the nation of God's earth that he liked to, I believe he was under the impression that we was teaching what they teaching and just different. See, like, you know, like, like Prince Shah said, you know, it's some brothers, you know, people believe we, you know, teach the same thing. We just, got a more relaxed style about us but you know we teach arm leg leg arm head arm leg leg arm supreme head which is our lie we teach ourself lord and master we teach i god is the culture i meaning yourself i god the study of yourself and everything around you is knowledge is the culture is is you know you know we teach Higher self, which is God, lower self, which is devil, which is in everybody. See what I'm saying? But Faker Khan believed that, you know, because, you know, that, you know, we teaching wrong teachings and, 
you know, we the outcasts of the nation of Islam. That's not true. I ain't never wanted to join the nation of Islam or the, or the so-called BMF. I ain't with that. See what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. And, and so it's like, you know, you can't talk to them brothers. You know, you can't talk to them. Fake it kind of say, you know, that ain't what we about. You know, we about this. You know, we respect you, respect this, and move on. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, them, you know, them brothers don't believe in freedom, man, and they don't jump on nobody for being a Catholic. You know, I, I, you know they don't jump on nobody for being atheists. They got a problem because we learn the knowledge the same 120 a different way than them so once again that's why i wrote the revised versions of the 120 which is uh you know student enrollment one to ten into the nation of gods of earth you know the one to 36 one to 14 one to 36 one to 40 all that stuff coming but you know you know, so, you know, it's like what religion you get killed for denouncing, speaking out, that's ridiculous. If those men, if Elijah Muhammad, Fekir Khan, all the ministers was, was right and exact, they would love to defend themselves. They would love to show up anybody in disagreement. See what I'm saying? And so I'm seeing, so, you know, watch this documentary on YouTube. Just come out, it's called, uh, Make It Plain. You know, it's another Malcolm X documentary. And, and you know, and, and, you know, it's, you know, it's like a supplement to that book, uh, The Dead Eye Rising I was talking about. You know, it got the interviews with the brothers and the sisters, you know, some of the family. And so... Yeah, man, it's, you know, that's, that ain't no religion. You know, man, they ain't, they ain't right. You know what I'm saying? They ain't right. So, you know, man, that's, that's, you know, that's all I want to talk about, man. The denouncement, right? So, you know, it's like stepping away from these in a while. You know, and father, as far as I know, didn't diss. See what I'm saying? You know, he didn't diss. He just changed the name and started teaching another way. It was like, you know, I, you know, I think Elijah Muhammad and them may have felt duped. Like, you know, he thought when it was called Allah's 5% Nation that he was teaching, you know, some form of Child, child Islam, child black Muslim to the to the to the youth, but you know he teaching the youth to be God, and then he changed the name. Now you got the elder God, be Allah say, you know, you know, Father told him when he died, when he returned to the essence, that's when y'all gonna call yourself the nation of God's of earth. I don't know when that was, right? So I don't know if he was predicting his death. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know, right? But you know, this article say that, and they got a picture, a, a grainy picture of his funeral, Father Allah funeral, around June 1969, right? And it's two years, so the article say that he changed the name to Nation of God's Earth. 69, he was, you know, out of here. So. It's, you know, it's senseless, man. But I know one thing, you know, and the Nation of Islam teach this. That they don't let nobody, they don't use, let the spirit of fear make a decision for them. Right? So that's why Malcolm, Father, Khalees spoke out against them, you know. He was, Khalif was probably hearing things from Faker Khan, all them people telling him he wrong. 
for not being nation. That's crazy. You know, they want black people to automatically think they the bomb. They the shit. And they not. They uneducated brothers. Uneducated. You know, an educated intellectual man that studied, got rudimentary, academic, regular academic knowledge plus plus the nation of Islam University knowledge and on 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 Islam and theology can't defend themselves against somebody that's supposed to be on a lower level. See what I'm saying? They they not intellectuals. They ain't God. They ain't messengers of God. They ain't even ministers. What minister, like I said before, gotta practice and preach to get somebody killed because he say something off the cuff and and leave. See what I'm saying? So that ain't that ain't that ain't no real religion. That ain't peace. They talking about Assalamu alaikum is peace. And Assalamu alaikum and alaikum assalam, peace. And unto you be peace, or peace unto you too, right? Something like that. But Assalamu alaikum mean peace and peace back to you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that ain't they don't they don't practice peace. You see what I'm saying? Somebody in a bow tie represents an intellectual. Why you gotta teach and set atmospheres and, 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 and narratives to get another minister, Muslim people killed? You see what I'm saying? They fake as hell. So, you know, I'm about tired of banging on them. Now I'm gonna find something else to talk about. You know, break down some of these lessons or whatever, so. I'm out. Peace.